Professor Perkins. Yes, Miss Smith? Dr. Farina is here to see you. Thank you. Please send him in. Dr. Farina, thank you for coming. You're probably wondering why I called you here. Yes, the thought did cross my mind. This better be important, Professor Perkins. I've come a long way from my island home, and this isn't the most convenient time for me. I know you've come a long way, and we've just called you here because we here at the research lab have been concerned about you since you left us so long ago. It must be difficult living on an island so far away and by yourself. Cut the small talk, Perkins. You're not really concerned about where I live, are you? Why have you called me here, huh? Why have you calm called down, me here? Calm down. Take it easy, Dr. Foreno. Now calm down. Will you tell me why you've called me here? We know about your discovery. In fact, we have known about it for some time. What discovery? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me, Dr. Foreno. We've known about your, shall we say, your finding for years now. Don't you think it's about time you let the government in on it? You've wasted enough of my valuable time. Goodbye, Professor Perkins. You think this organization had better things to do than to go on wild, exotic goose chases. What a waste of time. Just so you know, Dr. Freyno, you have been warned, and we will do anything in our power to solve any problems should they arise. See here, I worked for this company for years, and I'm an internationally respected scientist. I don't have to stand for this public badgering. If anyone steps anywhere near my island, you will pay, Professor Perkins. I assure you, you will pay. <laughs> <laughs>